case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the Iowa Supreme Court heard the case of Rogers Backhoe Service, Inc. v. Nichols, which revolved around the concept that a person may be liable to pay for a service if they do not reject it, and it is reasonable to believe they accepted it as per Restatement Second of Contract Section 69. The dispute began when funeral director Jeffrey S. Nichols hired Rogers Backhoe Service Inc. for excavation work during the construction of a crematorium and expansion of a parking lot at his funeral home in Muscatine. Nichols approved the work and paid a bill of $17,950.50 presented by Rogers for the work completed. However, Nichols later disputed the bill in court. The district court found in favor of Rogers, arguing that the charges on the invoices were reasonable and the work was performed for Nichols' benefit with his implicit approval. The Court of Appeals initially reversed the district court's decision, but upon review, the district court's judgment was reinstated as it was found to be free of legal error and supported by evidence. The focus of the court's decision was the relationship between Nichols and Rogers, the excavation work done, and the invoices presented. The Iowa Supreme Court ultimately held that the funeral director was liable for paying the backhoe service company for the excavation and site preparation. The court upheld the district court's decision on the implied-in-fact contract and the conferred benefit, overturned the Court of Appeals decision, and ruled in favor of Rogers Backhoe Service, Inc. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.